Alright everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Welcome back to Criminal's Adventure. We are going back to the previous save because um, fighting that Kelly boy is crushing my game. And I think I'm slowly getting to the point where I may literally be unable to actually finish the game. So, no time to rest. we back in this room. I did actually open the chest. Let me do something which I don't normally do. And I'm gonna attempt... Ah, fuck. Never mind. I was gonna attempt to talk to the girl, but I forgot. <laughs> I already have the, the Speak With Dead used. Anyway, this girl doesn't do anything for us. Saving her life, or rather reviving her, does nothing for us. So I'm gonna skip on this. So, uh, note to self, don't go in that room. <laughs> No, we skip. We skip. That one we skip. We kind of have to skip, because if we don't skip, the game is going to crash again, and it's painful. For whatever reason, my game just decides, you know what we're going to do? We're going to crash. Also, by the way, I have started playing Thrones and Liberty, or rather Throne and Liberty. I keep saying Thrones for whatever reason. So, maybe expect some more of that on the channel. I haven't actually gotten used to the combat just yet, but I'm slowly starting to feel it. It feels very, very, very button mashy in my case. I'm playing a, a dagger axe bow, and uh, it feels very button mashy, okay? Extremely button mashy. To the point that I'm feeling like I just... I feel like I may get car carpal tunnel. <laughs> You know one of those fighting games where you just button mash non-stop? Yeah, that's how I feel when I play the game. Eh. I can read these if you want, by the way. I'm gonna skip as per usual. There's no point in me reading these books at this point. Well, except for actually... What the fuck is that? Devil Crusher. <laughs> I could give that to Garlac, not that it matters, it has literally no stats. Um, I am liking Throne and Liberty so far. And I'm kind of feeling the game, you know? Am I gonna be forced into going into that skeleton room, by the way? Is that how it's gonna be? So I'm kind of feeling uh, Throne and Liberty, and I feel like I may just replace League of Legends with that, because fuck League, I don't want to play League anymore. I had to test the wall. You never know. I just do not like League anymore. It's it's a matter of um, my teammates sucking way too hard. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I just can't enjoy a single match anymore lately. So Throne of Liberty is a good replacer because it got it's got a lot of PvP. I feel like I may have to join the room. I don't really like going into that room, because we're gonna crash again, but... Let's test it out. Mm. Maybe what we need is in this room. What if I just do not fight Skelly Boy? Let me just... You know, let's put Gale into invis mode. Is Gale the one with the invis? I forgot. Somebody has invis. I kind of forgot who, though. There we go. Let me put Gale in invis mode. Maybe I should have done it on a stadion, but it's fine. Random skilly boy is there. Let me touch this chest. Nothing in here. Motherfucker knows we are coming, by the way. Which is why he's randomly ambushing us. Please, Gale, move. Alright. I don't... I don't think the Skelly boy over here can open the thing. So I'm gonna just close the door on him. <laughs> Let's get going. We need a crest. How are we gonna get the crest? I don't actually know. Maybe I'm not going in the correct direction. So let me see if I can find another way. Because it's telling me upstairs. And this one is saying, um, I'll go out, basically. 
And that's not the play. So, about Throne and Liberty, I think I may continue to play it. And maybe at some point, maybe expect some more guides and maybe expect some PvP. Yes. But we'll see. Alright, is there any way for me to unlock this without getting the fucking seal? Because I don't know where to get it. Let me try Gale again. Or maybe a Stadion. Let's see if a Stadion touches the door. The door to Cazador's ballroom, where he hosted his most hedonistic nights. You've never seen it closed, let alone locked before. The door okay. is covered in intricate text. You can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small, round hollow engraved with the Sire family crest. Can the Stadion decipher anything for us? Ooh, not like this. Definitely not like this. Alright, let me try again. I like how dude in the background does not question why I'm even here. Let alone why I'm staying in front of the door that is locked. Anyway. It's written in archaic Kozikuran, a rare version of an already obscure language. The palace is full of inscriptions like this. Casador always forbade you from learning the language, but you have picked up a few words. You can make out enough to recognize an incantation, but the specifics elude you. You can tell you're missing something, though. You spot a reference to the family signet. Okay, so there's like... Nothing here Stadion can give us that is extra info. These things are okay. still interesting. Uh, by the way, I have made a video on Metro 2033 Redux. And uh, I know I did say that I may or may not play it. Let me touch this bust. The inscription on this bust reads Mordok Salanmir. Okay. One of Casador's ancestors. So yeah, I may play Metro 2033 after Baldur's Gate. Okay. At the same time, I know I have spoken about... Uh, what is that? Oh. No, I've, I've spoken about um, good old uh, Stalker Gamma, which I had to reinstall. And I did actually end up reinstalling it. So if you all want to see that again, let me know. It did get updated. It did get updated. Quite a bit, actually. Since uh, the last time I tried to play that. Can we find some info on this um, thing we need to open the door though? That would be ideal game. Um, okay, I don't think this is going to be any good info, but it is what it is. Ooh, I'm feeling some frame drops here and there. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> that's not good. <clears throat> By the way, if you're wondering why my voice sounds like this, um, I'm sick again. Yup. I ended up getting down with the sickness. Oh, wow. Let me, let me test this wall. <laughs> okay, I tried. Eh. It's fine. So, what the fuck am I doing? Let me read Victoria's list. Okay, we don't care about the chairs and whatever in this house. Rampart's door? There is one thing I just don't really feel like. I don't know if I'm going to be playing Throne and Liberty for long. As in, um, very, very long. This is kind of weird, in a way. Like, the leveling is way too fast. Like, way too fast. It gives you no time to actually get used to, to your character's skills. I found myself being level... Well, let me just say, I made from level 15 
to 18 within like 40 minutes without even trying and actually playing the game. Okay? It took me like 30 minutes, but I was not even paying attention to the game. And I died four times. Because I had my equipment not upgraded and my skills not upgraded. And I was doing the main story thingy, which does actually get uh, more difficult. What is this? Open, enter, beware, forbidden, sealed. What? Something strange happened to that girl. That's Just like okay. Let me yoink this real quick. You know what? Let me send it to a stadion. Okay. We found the Kazakura dictionary or something. There seems to be nothing else other than mostly clothing in here, though. So this book was kind of just stolen by this girl, and that's why she died, maybe? Alright, well... I am assuming... Maybe... Now... We can do something. Let's test it out, I guess. Because I can't find this uh, family crest. Nowhere. kind of annoying. Where the fuck is this room? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, there we go. There we go. Alright, let me touch it again. Door remains sealed, with naught to see but strange writing and a small hollow. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. Okay, let me read. Your voice echoes in the chamber, but nothing happens. The door remains resolutely shut. Mm-hmm. So that's not the play. Alright. That's fucking annoying. Okay, so what now? Let me talk to this dude, maybe. A another guest for the master's celebration. I'm afraid you're too late. You'll have to... Master Astarian? What are you doing here? Why aren't you downstairs? Well, obviously I'm on my way down now. So if you could just point us in the right direction. But you're too late. The, the, the doors have been sealed. The ritual is about to begin. Who? Oh. Did they just unseal, unseal the door and let us in? Question mark? Okay. Ah, fuck, it's the skeleton. Man, that's annoying. Okay, so we, we gotta go back. You're too late. The master will be so angry that you missed the ritual. He will do such terrible, terrible things to you. Motherfucker likes abuse. Okay. <laughs> To waste. There is too much to do. Too much to prepare. Alright, so we go Fagodi up real quick. If the game allows it. I just want to say this now. If we can't uh, deal with Godi because the game crashes again, I'm gonna completely skip this part. Because we can't do it. If the game is gonna crash during the combat with Godi. Because Mother Yucker is literally gonna refuse to open the door, you know. Unless a Stadion just talks him into opening it, I guess. And um, I may just have to kind of just skip to, you know, Orin and um, dude. I forgot his name. Gortash, there we go. <laughs> I thought about Garrosh. F fucking Garrosh from WoW. The name is so similar. Alright. Let's proceed. How about I just summon these first? Yeah. All right. Hello. I know you're there, Golly. Stop skulking and show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's right, so, we kind of know the dialogue in here, so I'm gonna skip it, because we have seen it in the previous video. Excuse me, I just 
<clears throat> my coffee coming back to salute. <laughs> you tortured yeah, we know about the torture. So, I was gonna say something about uh, reshades. Remember, I did kind of just start up a reshade preview series, kind of, to let you all know how the reshades I make look. So I think, um, starting with Metro 2033 Redux, considering I've made that yesterday, um, I think I'm gonna start making a lot of these and expect a lot of this type of content because I have made a bunch of reshades, okay? I have like, I don't know, 30 plus at this point, uh, presets. Yeah, about 30 games or so, and I'm gonna just start showcasing them around the channel, okay? Uh, that's extra content on top of whatever we are doing, on top of, well, when we finish Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I am thinking that I um, either start making a new collection for patch 7, or just straight up get into an evil playthrough, but I don't actually want to get into an evil playthrough right off the bat. I would rather sit my ass down and kind of cook on a collection, if you know what I mean. Because I feel like I gotta update this one. I don't think um, upgrading to patch 7 is gonna be good for my mental health. As in... Um, if I do that, and I don't update my current collection, um, these mods I got right now, unless I back them up somewhere, which I could, go, don't get me wrong, but there are so many, you have no fucking clue. <laughs> it's not a matter of space, because I got space, I just made like 400 gigabytes on my other SSD yesterday. But, um... um the, the problem is that if I don't remove the mods, then the game's gonna be broken because everything I got currently is gonna transfer to, well, the patch 7 update. And, uh, yeah, I gotta upgrade, um, I gotta update the mods. Because, uh, the mods will get loaded no matter what I do. So, it's a matter of removing the mods completely. Or just updating them. So I think I would rather update the collection to patch 7 first before I do the evil playthrough. Let me know if you agree with that, by the way. To be fair, I would rather do that instead of just jumping straight into a unmodded uh, patch 7 playthrough with uh, the evil ending. Because I'm kind of enjoying these mods, I'm not gonna lie. I, again, I have played like 50 hours of normal Baldur's Gate um, in Act 1. And honestly, I wasn't impressed with the base game's uh, character customization options. So I would rather have the mods. Okay? Alright, now that I get that out of the way, let me see if I can do something with the dude here so I don't crash. So... Uh, Kazador hired me to capture a stadion. I'm here. I'm here to deliver. How about I do that? Let me see if I can avoid fighting dudes so we avoid crashing so we actually finish a stadion's part of the story because I am really interested. I know a stadion wants to ascend. I'm gonna see if I can put a stadion on the correct path so he doesn't become full evil because currently he's like um, in terms of, well, what's it called, um, Dungeon and Dragon terms, you know, I think Asterion is considered as neutral evil, but I could be wrong. Do correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not entirely sure. And honestly, I think that the playthrough I'm doing right now would be considered as neutral evil as well, kinda. As in, I'm only doing evil stuff if I, if necessary. I, I think. L do let me know if I'm wrong, though, because, again, I have never played Dungeons & Dragons, and I have no fucking clue what I'm talking about half the time. <laughs> okay, I got all 34. 34. By the way, um, we are three days into October. Yesterday was my kid's birthday, which is... Why I did not record for a lot of time. Because I was preparing and doing stuff and... Honestly, uh, shit got kinda busy over here. 
but yeah. Speaking of which, Sparking Zero. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Do let me know if you want to see it. Do let me know if you want to see me just fight random bots or attempt multiplayer. Yes. Good old PvP. I Again, I'm going to be on PC, so I have no fucking clue how that's going to happen. Unless the game is really popular on PC and stays popular on PC. But I feel like Sparking Zero as an occasional PvP series, maybe ranked if they got a ranked system, maybe some modded content because that's gonna happen, obviously. It's a game with basically infinite replayability because you can create your own stuff. So yeah, do let me know if you want to see Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I am very much gonna get it. I'm sorry, I've been a Dragon Ball fan since I was three fucking years old, okay? I've basically lived with Dragon Ball my entire life. But you're too late to see the mask. So if you want to see Dragon Ball, let me know. Dragon Ball's gonna happen. He will not be disturbed. Doors can be unsealed. Just give us the key and we'll show ourselves in. Goaty will not open them for anyone, much less for you. That's fucking annoying, dude. Hmm. Let me try to persuade. Let me try to not fight, dude. <laughs> I know my charisma is very bad, but my rolls are kind of good. Got him. Alright, let me put my coffee cup away. Was wondering I got a good old uh, Dark Souls 3 cup, which is kind of nice. Black. Oh shit, it's Dark Souls 2, I never knew. <laughs> Here. Here it is. Okay, thank you for not crushing my game, Goldie. Oh, that's gonna make things easier. A lot easier, actually. Uh, yes, his destiny is gonna be him just dying. Alright? He did. Let me just... You know, I, I am gonna prepare. Let me just show up with a fucking army. <laughs> watch watch me just show up with a fucking army. Alright. Deva, Ginny, Cambion. Let me go with a Ginny. Let me see what a Ginny is in this game. Oh, so it, it's just an actual gin. <laughs> like, literally. Let me go massage your lamp. <clears throat> always, always time for a dirty joke, yes. I am pretty sure there was another option to summon something at this some point. I think it's Valkrana Skelly Boy. Uh, is this it? Oh, yo, this is an action? That's kind of cool. I got no space. Oh, I have to reanimate. Oh, that's annoying. It says create an imposing skeleton. It doesn't say reanimate somebody. Is that really the case? Oh, yeah, okay. So you do have to target a corpse. Which is kind of annoying, actually. I thought we could... You know, have a bunch of these. And or skelly boys. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do I have any more summons, though? Let me see. Uh, um, Jaheira, you got any summons in here? Keep in mind, uh, Jaheira does have a lot of, you know, teleports and stuff and granatas. The good old Granata. I don't think Asterion has any summons. However, he does have a bunch of stuff. Wait, what? Ah, f okay, we could have spoken with the girl. He has Ancestral Guide. I I never knew. <laughs> I, okay, it's fine. From Naval to... What the fuck is that? My guy is just full voodoo class. Actually, alright, where is... Door was here, right? Yep, okay. Alright. The fuck you mean target is invalid? Huh? Use ring? 
you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakura script from the dictionary you found. From the dictionary. <laughs> the rain starts perfectly into place, and the door swings open. All right. Whoa! Camera action. Who the fuck? Shit, they did. You can't be here. No one in, no one out. I'm sorry, so is Cazador werewolf? Cazador never kept guard dogs before. <sighs> the runaway spawn. <sighs> you reek of the master's scent. Okay. Come with us. Come to master. Oh, that makes that shit a lot easier, actually. I will not be all Motherfucker, just go! If we go now, we can end this. We <laughs> him. We get his favor. You get my fist up your ass. That's what you get. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's gonna be problematic. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright. Well, forgive me for uh, having to deal with this nonsense again. Alright, well, it is what it is. Game do be crashing a lot. Remember, I did accidentally throw in a small update at some point. So that kind of causes crashes, I believe. That, that said, there could just be some mods that cause crashes. In this very specific act. Or just the game not liking something. Come on. Fucking loadings are gonna take a little bit. So, let me just... Let me just talk a little bit about Throne of Liberty, I guess, while this loads up. So, things I like. Um, combat is decent, I guess. PvP? I feel like I'm gonna need to get used to combat even more for me to actually get there. Um, visuals, very cool, very nice, very good. Um, I like that the majority of dialogue, anyway, seems to be, or cutscenes, rather, seem to be voiced. And they're pretty decent, actually. Okay, we are straight back to Goldie. That's annoying. Ooh, that's a cool wallpaper. Alright. Things I don't like. The leveling being way too fast makes me literally unable to get used to my skills fast enough. Um. I feel like I'm basically doing everything as a robot. Like, it's not like WoW where you gotta actually read stuff and, you know... Or like it used to be in the good old days of WoW anyway. Because I haven't played the uh, lately. I haven't played since Legion actually. Do I need to talk to Goldie again? Go. Go, little fool. Oh, okay. Do not keep Alright. So yeah. I don't like the leveling. It's way too fast. I know some people like just insta rushing to max level, which is like fifty right now. Because, again, we are like a year behind on Korean server in terms of content and levels and such. But still. Alright, let me attempt again. <clears throat> Stop! Door. Save. <laughs> let me rush the save. Alright, so I gotta just fucking destroy these fellas real quick. Before they even realize what's happening. So let me check my skills real quick. Because I got a bunch of these. Like actually. Pull a sword of imaginary substance from your chest. That acts like a ghost blade. Only works in honor mode currently. Interesting. Emptiness plasma the fuck. When did I get emptiness plasma? Anyway. Third eye. Hmm. Mind shatter. Alright. Project presence. Level one spell. Melee action counts. Okay, we we know that one. Devouring darkness. Yeah. 
Interesting. Lost remnants. What the fuck? Where? Do I have a lost remnant somewhere? I feel like I have way too much shit in here. I feel like next time I play the game, I don't multi-class like this. It's, it's getting very annoying. There's too much shit on screen. <laughs> also a problem I got with Throne of Liberty, by the way, because you start off with like seven fucking skills at level one. Okay, let me try Cleave. And... Um, yeah, let me just hit Bloodfang. Let's get this over with. Get in there. You can't be here. Oh, fuck off. No one. <laughs> my did my thing go in? It didn't. Damn it, man. It's fine. All right, please do not crash. Okay, no crash is good. Whoa! I don't actually know what happened. I did. I don't recall using distracting visage. I literally just said no. What the fuck? Also, they all died by hitting me, which is kind of weird. Dimensional haze. Ooh, Gale, please don't die on me. Okay. Let me go deal with this big dude that is in front of Gale. Poor. If I pull him... Okay, never mind. He's too big. Or maybe I'm too close. I don't actually know. It's fine. I mean, punch. Ah, fuck. Okay, well, we are gonna be unable to do this if we keep on crashing like this. Oh, my God. All right. We are literally gonna be unable to finish the game if, if we keep this up. All right. I don't really like being unable to finish the game, especially considering how far we've gotten into this playthrough. If you're wondering how far we are in terms of hours, um, let me just do some quick maths. We are on part number 42 right now, 30 minutes in. Judging by the vast majority of the videos being 2 hours and 30 minutes, or rather 2 hours, let's say an average of 2 hours 30 minutes. Ooh, I need a calculator. Because <laughs> we are like 100 hours into this. Let's see now. Um, uh, 120, 150. 150 minutes times 42 videos. Okay. Yeah, about 105 hours, approximately. So I'm going to just say around 100 hours. I don't like being unable to finish a fucking playthrough in which I am 100 hours in, okay? We are not about to let that happen. Unless it's absolutely necessary, but I feel like the amount of crashing we ha we've had lately is uh, disturbing, say the least. Okay, what the fuck is Lolis doing? She's been sleeping all day. Alright. Why are you sleeping so much, the fuck? Random? By the way, he doesn't normally sleep this much. Oh, you can actually see this. <laughs> That's kind of nice. I got a schedule uh, over here, which I will have to update for the next time I do the institutional thingy. If you don't know what that is, that's basically allowing you to automate Lolis. All right. Let me turn this off real quick. There we go. Oh, mother yuckers. Let me jump. <clears throat> I'm in there. You can't be here. Attack. Okay, we need to, I don't know, we need to kind of finish this fast somehow. Oh, we have this. So this is basically um, arcade missile. The Omega upgraded version, I think. <laughs> Alright, what who do I hit first? I'm a, I think I'ma hit this dude. With everything. Let me see. 
Damn, that's a fucking one shot. Okay. Remember I said Gale broken and somebody downvoted? Uh, <laughs> yeah. He fucking one shot that dude. That's That was like 86 HP. Still standing. All right. Jahera. How about you go in here and deal with these? Okay. Good enough for me. Doggy's in the back. But I just thought they make assault your ass. Never mind. Okay, Karlak. I feel like Karlak should be in the middle. And then. Karlak has some stuff here. Uh, so, here's what I feel like doing. I think Limit Breaker is gonna be until I rest. I think. Here's hoping that's the case. Or at least until I got energy. So I'm gonna do this. We go super. Okay. I'm feeling the Super Saiyan in this uh, Dragon Ball mod. It's kinda nice. Doyong! Wait, that shit put my, my energy up to max. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so will this teleport me? No, this is not a teleport. Meteor combo was a blink, though, I think. Yeah, but the target is too far, which is kind of annoying. Okay. Yeah, nah. A little bit too far. Okay. Let me see if I can do something about these without hitting Kremiel. I feel like I'm gonna hit Kremiel anyway. And I feel like I don't actually care about Kremiel getting hit, because she got self-heal. That's it. Okay, so you do have to be in melee for this. It, it does say melee. But I just have to check. Oh, I can actually teleport from here. That's nice. Bitch, get shit on. You know. So, oh, how about I just... What is this called? Rage Barrage. Mm, this uses all my energy, no? I don't like this one. <laughs> Although... Yeah, no, nah, let's not do that. Let me just do this. Let me do this instead. Good old fucking garlic gun. Boom. I feel like this is better, because I'm conserving energy as well. And I get to uppercut this wolfie. No? Ah, I need to move just a little bit. And I cannot. Annoying. Alright, surely the ghouls can get in there. I know they couldn't move in the tunnels and the, the sewers and whatever. But surely this time they can just, you know, do their things. Properly. Mr. Properly. Alright. Astarion cannot Crimson Blink because I just wasted all his movement. Never mind. Uh, can I sneak attack? No. So I'm assuming because he was also with the group and not hidden at the time. It's fine. Ooh, I could make this fight really easy by just fucking blasting people. Do I not... Did I not send the arrows to Asterion? I do need to start using the arrows. Oh, we crashed again. Fucking hell. Yeah, okay. I think... I think we're in trouble. I actually think we are in trouble. <laughs> we in deep. Oh my god, even my fucking... Even Steam is reacting poorly. Holy shit. Let me in, bro. Actually, all right. Come on. Oh, that's problematic, though. And why is Lawless so in such a bad spot as per usual? Anyway, um, if we can't do this, I think we stop the playthrough.
I don't actually know if I can just straight up ignore this. I feel like if I straight up ignore this, it's gonna be problematic in the last fight with the... With, I think with the brain itself, maybe, I don't know. It's definitely gonna hit me in the back at some point. Ah, uh, uh, dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. Luckily, I did manage to save right before the fight started. Something in that room, something in this fucking mansion is causing crashes. And I don't actually know what and or why. Come on. That's a cool looking dude. I wish games would let you be this cool looking dude, but they, they usually do not, especially lately. <sighs> Alright. I didn't get the jump. Anyway. Fuck off. So! What the fuck am I gonna do? I need to kind of just speed up the process a little bit. Let me just hit him with a... Wait. How does this work again? Raises a wall. Oh! I see. Oh, that's kind of cool. How big the wall, though? Damn! This fucking huge! Actually. Let me just do this. Target is blocked? What do you mean? Ah, I see. So what if like this? Come on. Man. I'm trying to hit everybody at the same time. I wish I could. Oh, can I? Let me try it this way. Hmm. Kinda. Damn! I just fucking fucking look at this dude! <laughs> uh, okay, I, I knocked their asses up. My guy is enjoying it too. <laughs> you know. All right, my turns have changed. It's fine. So Lazel can just mirror image her ass. And that's about it. Good old William is about to throw dollars. Which means this dude is about to fall on his cheeks. Okay, let me hit the bat. Uh, uh, uh. Please, no pat is interrupted, never mind. Oh, the wolf's up here too. Man, come on, hit him. My pat is interrupted. Okay, just hit this dude then. Got him. Oh, the game crashed again. We literally cannot fight this, bro. Alright, um. <sighs> I don't want to do this, but I feel like we have to stop here. Let me see if I can somehow go past. I'm gonna. Ignore Asterion's problematic past, I guess. I don't have a choice. The game's literally not letting me continue with the fight. And I think I have to fight this. I don't think I have mass invisibility to attempt, but I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my skills real quick. <laughs> I need to see if I have mass invisibility so I by bypass the fucking wolves. Or I'm gonna try dimension travel and see if I can get Gale on the other side without proccing the combat start. Fucking hell, bro. <sighs> this actually pisses me off. But, I don't know, if this keeps up, we will literally be unable to finish the game. 
I think we crashed like five, six times within two videos. If I take into consideration part 40, I think I, I crashed like twice. If I recall correctly, I may be wrong. No, I did actually crash at the end of that one. And then, yeah, we, we crashed about seven times in like three videos so far. That's kind of cringe. We normally don't crash at all. All right, uh, you know what? Let me close the door. No, don't move in. No, 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 no. You come back. <laughs> all right, spell times. Gotta read. Do I got a mass invisibility somewhere? Is there a way for me to read everybody's spells at the same time? Yes, if I press tab, there is. Okay. So, I need to see if I got mass invisibility somewhere before I try anything else. Because I may need it. Problem is, I don't think I got that. Because I never actually needed that. To be fair, I could Shadow Meld with Kremiel on the other side. It's not like I don't have travel options. I got travel options. The problem is that I could just fucking, you know, run. Do I really not have mass invisibility anywhere? Man, that's kind of painful. Okay. Well, time to attempt... Actually, okay, I need Kremiel's inventory specifically. Nope. <sighs> Alright, there's nothing invis related except that one potion. Okay. Well, let me ungroup and try to get Gale to the other side. That might as well. Let's see if that works. Okay, let me, let me figure it out. So what I need to do... I need to go invis with Gale, but I feel like I can't because it's a fucking long rest. Uh, shit. Okay, we catnap Gale. Oh, it's a short rest. I forgot it's a short rest. I can't even teleport all the way over there. Uh. I don't think I can do this. Like, actually. Uh, excellent choice. I need to be invis so I can teleport. Or open the door, at least. No more rat it, it, the game's not letting me see on the other side, so I can't teleport there. Unless. Let me see. I feel like I have to do this section before I teleport. You know what? Touch door, touch door! No! Fuck. Alright, skip these. Alright, can I open door? Wait, I, are you fucking kidding me? I have to fight this? <sighs> that can't be true. There's another room here. There's a forbidden ladder. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the iron ladder. Not forbidden ladder. What the fuck am I saying? I'm gonna use this to skip that section. And attempt to advance without crashing non-stop. Okay. Luckily, we have Gale with the massive teleport range. Okay, now what though? We press button. Okay. Let me actually save. Uh, let me call it bypass. Let me let me say crash bypass. Okay. All right. I uh, here's hoping we can actually do this. Okay, who's in this casket? Tars who? Tarzak 1477. Uncle Cazador 13. What the fuck? Okay. 
Why is dude not following? Come here. Okay. Alright. We bypassed the werewolf section. <sighs> I'm gonna be losing EXP for that, but it is what it is. I could have been maybe a level higher. Let's see. Oh, never mind. We don't need that. That's not even close to being a level higher, actually. Can you please move? I like that they are making use of this feature of the game. Finally. It's only taken them to the end of the game, basically. To actually make use of the move feature. It's kind of annoying that they did not incorporate this more into the game. Like, making this actually a necessity, you know? Dragging stuff, stuff around and shit. Who is lost? Who the fuck is sitting there? Random ghoul. Are you not linked? Oh, you are linked. Why are you stuck? Anyway. Anyway. There's a chest. Okay, so am I supposed to be here? Gnome die. Pouch. There's a silver key. We don't really need it, but... I don't want to keep on switching to Gale all the time. Okay, so what am I doing here? Here specifically. Why here? Why this? Um, I don't think I should be here, actually. Did I miss something down here? I think I might have. I don't actually know what, though. Where are you at? Oh my god, please tell me I don't have to fight the wolfies. What, I feel like I have to actually fight the wolves? Because I am not seeing any way to progress here. I feel like I gotta fight the wolves. Because the other path would not let me click on the door. You know? Or is it this door? Let me check. Good old check. Ooh, Casador Dungeon? Why the fuck could I move there? Hello? Click. Is it this? Nope. Hey, what the button be doing? Did I just close the door behind me? Really? Okay, so about this dungeon. Where? Flame rule? Oh, that this thing is on a timer. <laughs> Nobody told me that. What? What do you mean you can't reach the button, bro? What? The fuck? All of a sudden, you can't reach the button? That's... that's not right. What the fuck? Oh my god. Alright, Gale. Actually, let me use this ghoul. Bro. Can I? Oh no, I can't because... Because I literally can't. Okay. Let me just teleport with Gale out. Actually? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? I... C what the fuck happened? Why am I in... What the fuck? Why am I in this? No! I don't understand. Gale is in a cutscene or whatever. If I click on him, that is weird as all hell. Okay. Luckily, you can switch characters like this, but... I think Will has a misty step. Shadow teleport, that's good too. The fuck you mean? Oh, thank fuck. 
Okay. All right, that was painful. So, what am I doing in this place? Because I'm literally not finding anything. Casador's dungeon. We got a key. But... I wish Asterion would just tell me where the fucking dungeon is. Game. Asterion should literally know where the fuck he at, no? You know, I'm gonna actually try to speak to Astarion, see if he does know anything. Let me talk to dude. Brothers, what are you doing? Oh my god, this game. Night Song will be pleased to know Laroakan isn't after her hide anymore. Although, she may be even more pleased to know who put that bounty on her head in the first place. <laughs> True story. With this one, I agree. <laughs> so, where the fuck is a door? The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? Where he at, Mother Yucker? No? I hadn't really decided on the specifics. Obviously, we could stop the ritual, or... Not. What? <laughs> I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. Honestly? I don't think he should do it. Let me see if I can put a stereo on, on the good path. Let me let me try, okay? Let me try. This playthrough specifically, let me try. A pity then that it's not your decision to make. No, it's yours. Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. Mm-hmm. Okay. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. Mm. How will you strike? <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. Motherfucker really counting on us, huh? Plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. Sure, I can help with that. <laughs> and if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Mm-hmm. So there's really nothing he knows about, you know, where he at. <sighs> That's rather annoying, actually. Especially with the crashes. Anyway. Dungeon, I would assume, is somewhere down. <laughs> Dungeon. Huh? I'm sorry. I know, bad joke. Okay, so I am assuming this was the way. And then down the hatch. Insta fight, hopefully we don't crash. Game's taking a while to actually load it in. Fuck. Um, I think Gale's bugged because I did this. I think I may have to just kill Gale off or something. Let me see if I can 
attack. Nah, Gale's completely fucked. Oh, that's rather annoying. What if I try to spam skip? What the fuck is Lawless doing? <laughs> Okay. Well. Okay. Let me see if I can kill off Gale, I guess. And then maybe revive him. Whose turn is it, though? It's Karlak. Okay, that's fine. Please. No, it's not Karlak's turn. What? Is it Gale's? Is it actually Gale's turn? Oh my fucking god, Is the dude that can't attack. You know what, let me send him first. Let's get Gale killed, actually. Maybe he unbugs himself. Oh wait, I can't end turn, can I? Man, oh man. That is painful. Maybe I will get a proc to end the turn. Okay. I kind of don't want to, you know, hit him. Ah, shit. How do you enter? Is there like a fucking... Is there like a... a what's it called? To enter? A hotkey? Ah, fuck. Alright, let me, let me check key binds. Enter, enter, enter. It's space. Fuck! Space doesn't work. I've been spamming space for a while. Damn it, man. Come on. Okay, so we, we don't bypass the crash. That's fucking painful. This is annoying, bro. I don't know how to deal with this because I'm gonna crash again. If I crash again, I'm just gonna stop recording. It's getting annoying. <sighs> Let me see if there's a way for me to just fucking nuke these wolves. Like ASAP. I need to nuke their asses fast. Everything must be perfect. Okay, what is my highest range spell that actually does a fuckload of damage on Kremiel? Actually, I should start with Gale. <laughs> Fuck it. I should just start with Gale. Let me just do this. With everybody in Invul Spear. Fuck your wild magic surge. And then... I think this was the, the highest one-shot spell I got. Fuck him up. Ah, uh, what now? Wait, he fucking healed? What? That didn't happen last time. What the fuck? What are you? Oh my god, Gail, he. What? What? Your spells of level 1 and higher heal all creatures? Motherfucker, Gail. <laughs> Okay. Where the fuck you going? Just jump, bro. Okay. Please don't crash, game. Let me see if I can fight this without proking the cutscene, and maybe we don't crash if we do that. Okay. okay let me go fuck this dude up real quick. Like, really, really quick. Um. Then booming blade. Bitch. I have no extra attack. Was that it? Because I just used this? Yeah, I think I just used both of my attacks with that one. It's fine. These wolfies should be... Vulnerable to fire and lightning. Should. Emphasis on the should. Understood. 
Oh, motherfucker, we crashed again. <laughs> okay, so one thing I have found on the internet is that I kind of just have to AoE. Apparently, it's also gonna be a bug with Kazador himself. There's a lever here. I just realized. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's annoying. Alright, I'm gonna have to reload. Fuck you now. I've actually had to do some extensive research on how to bypass this room with crashing. And apparently, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Motherfucker! Oh. My path be true.
All right, so um, yeah, it took me a lot of time to clear this room. I had, I don't know, about 15 to 20 crashes in this room alone. Actual pain. So let's see if we can figure out a way to, you know, advance. So I'm assuming there's something in this room that I gotta do to actually be able to advance because I'm not finding any way to move forward. So let me let me read this one first. Elf song. Okay. Okay. So surely there's gotta be a way to actually move on, no? Okay, excuse the weird lawless positioning as per usual. <laughs> ay ay ay. Okay. Am I supposed to actually sing here? Or uh, play the piano? No? No? Okay. So how do you advance? What the fuck? There we go. <clears throat> how does one advance here? Let me see if I can find something. Uh, I'll get you in. Sure. Okay, there's a party. Okay, but I am in dude's mansion. How does one advance? Do I care about these clothes? No, I don't think I do. There is one door here, which I am literally unable to bypass. I don't even know if I'm supposed to. But... I don't know, bro. I'm confused. Let me check my, my quest journal. Um, let's see now. Raphael. We have entered Casador's palace. Now we just need to find the vampire himself. Oh, gee, thanks, game. Much appreciate the help. You are literally not giving me. What if I sit on them chairs? Or touch them? No? No? Bro, how do you get the casa door? Like, actually, what if I break the chair and try to, you know... Can I, you know, go through here, maybe? No? I'm gonna try it. I have definitely maybe missed something somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Let me check if Gale's still bugged. He shouldn't be, okay. Alright, I think... I kind of have to do a short rest here. There is a button. I never noticed this button. Anyway. I wonder what that button did though. Also, why is my screen black? It's usually... It, you know, it usually has something going on during loading. It's not just pitch black. Okay, let's see now. If only it would show me on the minimap. So. I'm not seeing... I gotta... Let's see now. I really wish the game would tell me where the fuck do that. So I don't have to actually search for him that much. But it's fine, I guess. Um, we are wasting a lot of time. I don't remember if there's anybody in this rosewood casket, but let's see. Uh, Tarkash. I don't recall if I read this or not. I think I may have. I remember there being a key somewhere around here. Because we've already been here. And the thing is, I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Okay. There's also that. Uh, let me speed the process up, because I recall this room actually closing up on me. Yep. This is on a timer. 
Wait. There we go. <clears throat> Y'all just sit out there. I'm trying to... I'm trying to move, game. For some reason, here specifically, the game just says, nah, you are not supposed to move. Oh, there's treasure crates. Oh, Let me just yoink everything, I guess. So this button hopefully opens door, nah? Yes. Okay. Alright, so we are out. Now, what exactly am I doing with this? Where is Cazador's dungeon? Because that's the only thing I actually have to find. Like, he's... He's dungeon. Specifically. Which I have yet to find, by the way. I only managed to clear the werewolf room. And I still... Haven't figured out anything. Which is kind of annoying. <clears throat> by the way, I'm still sick, so... It is what it is. <clears throat> uh... You may not know this, because I've never actually said it, but... It took me three fucking days to get through the room. <clears throat> three days. <laughs> three days to get through the fucking werewolf room, bros. Actual pain. <sighs> the struggle was real. Alright. So, anything in the pouch? I don't recall. Bro. Okay, there's a key. Oh, excuse the... Woo! Damn! <clears throat> I am sorry. There was a button somewhere. Oh my god, the sneeze though. <sighs> Damn. That came out of nowhere. Literally. Okay, so what am, what am I doing up here? There's gotta be something, surely. Because this is the only... The only way I've found so far. There's gotta be something up here other than this chest. Other than water. And soap. And the bed. What if I use bed? No? Whoops. Okay. Well, the bed is not the way. So, I'm not actually supposed to be here, am I? He just... Game just gave me a key. I'm kind of supposed to find his dungeon, where it is, I have no idea. But it's definitely not in here. So what am I doing? I feel like... I don't know, it's either not here, like at all. Or the stupid thing is just bugged and it's not showing up where it's supposed to be. Because his key was in this room, which means the dungeon should be somewhere around here, no? Unless the dungeon is inside the mansion and it's not even supposed to be behind the gate with the the symbols we had, to, you know, with the signet. And if that's the case, that is crazy. Okay, we have an event. I'm trying to... Figure it out. <clears throat> Camp night event. Alright, you know what? Let's long rest. I can't. Never mind. <laughs> Alright. Game said no. I tried. Okay, so... Wait, what? what? Oh, I... Whoops. Excuse the... The mix-up. I mixed myself. It's fine. I need to open this. I did press it. I didn't know it would close behind me. Anyway. <sighs> what the fuck am I doing here? There is an office door here. Okay. Okay, that's new. I did not find the office door yet. This is the first time I see it. So I can go through here. And then there's really nothing here other than party planner. Final feast. Got it. Can I go through here? No. 
What if I try to hit? Nope. Okay. Oh my god, I can't move. Too many people. <laughs> Actually. Okay, so there's glasses there. Okay, we can't go. Alright, let me try this room. Ooh, dice? 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 How, how do you spell that? Alright. Go in. Let's see if we can finally get out of this mansion. Metal platform. Again, it took me like four days total just to get here. Because the crashes. Too many crashes. Way too many crashes. But it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Casador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. All right, we going in. Excuse me, I think I got a runny nose right now. It is not. It's caused by the fucking sneeze <laughs> from earlier. Ah, uh, kind of a pain. I got no, uh, you know, nothing to actually clear my nose with right now. So I'm gonna do the video and handle that later. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to sound so weird. Oh shit, we got a sigil. Let's go. All right, we can teleport here. That's cool. Finally, we got through here. So I am, uh... <sighs> listen. Damn, what the fuck happened to my face? All right. All right, listen. Here's what we gotta do. Because, um... In my research for figuring out how to go through the dungeon <laughs> without crashing too much, I have accidentally spoiled myself on how to deal with Kazador. So, apparently, there was a bug with Kazador from patch 5, and I am thinking it's still not fixed in patch 6, but I guess we're about to find out. Um, dude here is about to crash my game a lot. So, in order for me to not crash a lot again and be stuck here for another fucking week, I'm gonna attempt to kind of just one-shot him as fast as possible. So, what I have found out, not that it's, you know, news to me considering dude's a vampire, you need sunlight, okay? And who got sunlight? Well, listen, we got a sunbeam on Gale. <laughs> you know what's about to happen, okay? You know what's about to happen. <sighs> there's a crypt gate, there's an entombing clot here. Let me try this one first. Well, there's, there's two of these. Alright. Ah. I see. This reminds me... Of um, the tower in the underground. I am uh, assuming. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Oh, hold up. Because I think I gotta go that way actually. But let me see what's this way first. Now, hopefully, the keys we got help. I started the conversation. Okay, there we go. Upstairs, this door features no keyhole. It does have an indentation for a signet ring. Okay, we have that, obviously. Because otherwise, we would have never actually been here. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. All right. So is my dude here, or is he in the other one? Time to find out. I wish the game would not unlock... Oh, hello. Oh, shit. So, here are the people. All right. Well... You're met with hollow -eyed faces. We gotta save them. Physical For a stadion, you know. And neglect. Uh, this how you used to live? <laughs> Hardly. No? Casador didn't keep me in luxury. But oh, this is luxury. I've never I see. seen anything like this. Ah. How did they get here? What is Casador doing with them? Mm -hmm. I should have guessed there was more to it than Raphael would ever have told. Obviously, he's a fucking devil. <laughs> okay, game stuck on his face. Okay. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. Everybody except the stadion has weird glowy eyes. Got me drunk. <laughs> Everybody is. You're all vampires, dude. Many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. 
Okay, so Stadion's gay? Question mark? You were handsome. Yeah. Shy. Sure. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I don't fuck with these parts of the game. They're kind of forced. I could skip, but then I would miss on the serial story, and I don't want to do that. Anyway... I mean, I know my character's perception has, well, a save failed, but we figured it out. Don't. Not now. Okay. I know. So many of these faces. They're my conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Casador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? Oh my god, this is so slow, bro. Come on. They are actually talking slower than my dad. <laughs> my dad's about to turn 60 soon. I'm just saying. Alright. Um. I'm gonna just let us start your answer, I guess. In 70 years. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. <laughs> They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. Okay. Uh, no matter the thing I choose here, it's kind of bad. Hmm. Everybody but Mintora. <clears throat> the one Mintora we do not have in the party. Likes this. I think, I mean, um, everybody dislikes this. Other than Mintora. There we go. <laughs> so... Okay. We can't set them free right now, surely. They're gonna try to kill us. We gotta go now. There's no escape. No escape for us. We need to go kill off Casador and then we deal with these people. And no escape for you, Astarian. Alright. This nightmare never ends and it's your fault. You did this, damn you! I damn you to the hells! Yeah, we cannot set them free. Not just yet. I anyway. I damn you to misery! I damn you! Okay. Alright, let's talk to Asterion, I guess. God's above. He kept Sebastian. I should have known what Casador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. Not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots, <laughs> and the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. Hmm. You can save them. What's the point? They're as good as dead. Not if you save them. I thought they were dead. If they are unleashed, they will cause incredible carnage. Hmm. They will be ravenous. 
They must die. What if we save them, though? Well, they can't be in the sun, which means they would either have to continuously sit in the mansion, at least until nighttime, or go in the Underdark? I don't think there's any other option for them. I think the game will send them to the Underdark. Because that would make the most sense. Then they'd be free to do whatever. We'll see if the game actually does that, though. Again, I have spoiled myself a little bit, but not on this. I don't actually know what the game's going to do here. Let's see if we can actually save them, though. I, I looked specifically for how to clear um, bugged areas of the game. Not, you know, stuff like this. Story related. Okay, so. Um, there is still hope. They're in a state far beyond anything that ever happened to me. Motherfucker is really trying to not help them. <laughs> hatred will have piled up inside of them. I can't even begin to imagine. We must find Casador. This must end. True. All right. So speaking of Casador, I wonder if it's this way. Can't give up now. Let me check the other one first. Um, actually, hold up. Uh. So if I look at this, Casador is maybe either here. Or here, depending on where the game actually lets me to go. But judging by the layout of this, and by this, this might actually send me to save the Gondians. Because it's showing me that. Let me deal with... Uh, I don't know what to do, what to do. Let me actually check the door before I decide on anything. Let's see where this takes us. I'm not allowed. The fuck you mean? What do you mean target is invalid? It's like the door to the ballroom upstairs. This door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. I honestly just wish the mouse cursor would disappear during cutscenes. It's annoying that I gotta hide it all the time. Perfectly into place, and the door opens. <laughs> Lolis is stuck. With pungent, musty air. There we go. Whoops. Okay, where am I? What the fuck is that? Okay. Well, we got something in this room. Should I be going here? Let me see. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there's definitely something here. Other than just Casador. Tourmaline Depths. Okay, I wonder if I am allowed back here after I deal with Casador. Here's hoping I am. Okay, let's figure out everything there is here. And then let's go deal with Casador real quick. Meditation of Vampire Lord. Stereon fell to return. That instantly went into my eyes. <laughs> Asterion's name. Okay, if I want to read this, go back, pause it a little bit. Names. Okay. Eternal cruelty. Okay. Alright, y'all gotta stop moving. It's pissing me off. Read. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't actually care much about the lore, honestly. I just want to finish the story. I don't care about back lore from whoever, whatever, whenever. <laughs> you know what I mean. Not right now, anyway. Not right now. Maybe at some other time I'll come back and uh, read everything. 
Okay. We are going back to deal with Kazador himself. And then, maybe after that, we see and figure out where these tunnels lead. There has to be a way to, you know, deal with that. Alright, let's go open the good old crypt gate, which is probably gonna lead to Kazador himself. Probably down here. I should probably save, like now. Oh, it's saved already. Nice. You know what? Let me save on top so it's not an auto save. Uh, never mind. There we go. Okay. We gotta save. Which means even if we crash, we are safe ish. That's probably Casador. Yeah, okay. Level 12. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. My guy, pretty high level, huh? Anyway, we got a bunch of people here. And... Now, this is unexpected. Cool. Mm -hmm. You okay. will follow on the heels of our poor lost son. So because he's vampire, he's obviously gonna be weak to radiant and or sun damage. You know, light. Will not speak to his own family? Um... I think we just straight up attack, but wait, where is Astarion? He's supposedly here, no? He's literally in my party and he's not showing up randomly. What? What is family if not the monsters we are obliged to love? Hmm? That is why he will come back to me, because he yearns to be with his people. You don't have to love your family. This is all he knows. <laughs> You have been an interesting distraction. For love is no love and respect are things you earn, motherfucker. It's over. When you don't return, he will realize he has nowhere else to go. He will come to me, and he will be mine. Hmm. Attack! <laughs> stand against me. Let's fuck him up. I am the immortal Kazadorza, and you will be mine. Sure. Let's fuck him up. Where is a Starion? What the fuck? My dude sitting here? Bro. Really? <laughs> okay. Alright, so Gale is first, as per usual. Which means... Which means... We should probably do this. And even though I could maybe potentially one-shot dude with Sunbeam... Oh, never mind, my dude has 300 HP. Alright, so we, we kind of have the Globe of Invul here. I feel... I feel like Globe of Inver Invulnerability right on top of Kremiel and Gale is the play. For right now, anyway. Yeah. Now, here's hoping this shit right here is not timed. Because if this is timed, this is gonna be annoying. Oh, my dude is inside. Uh, that's kind of annoying. I am probably gonna be unable to push him. Yup, too heavy. Figures. Well, we need to populate the globe area, otherwise it's gonna get annoying. Because if I don't fill up the circle, um, these mother yuckers are gonna step on inside, and they're, they're gonna take my space. Alright, that's it. I can begin stacking. There we go, there we go. Uh, I think... Was it the contract? No, it's not the contract, it's the waltz. Okay, this is AoE, all around. And... I think I might as well... No, I'm not gonna do that, actually. It's, it says until long rest, so let me not do that. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Maybe a flame with desire? Just so I can get some stacks on this dude, so I can, you know, kill him fast. Alright, hopefully they all can't just waltz into my fucking globe of invulnerability. 
I hope they are far enough. No, don't miss this step in front of me. Ah, uh, sure. Let's suppress the mother yucker. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Um, okay, the wolf is dead, but so is my globe. I am no longer invulnerable. Because Gale is on the fucking ground. That is sad. And pissing me off a little bit. Because I gotta recast it. <sighs> what the fuck happened? Why did I get Mistra's Retribution Freeze when Gale did not cast anything? I'm sorry, is the... Is the Arcane Suppression considered a spell, even though it's a reaction? And because of that, Gale just fucking Mistra's the entire team. Is that how it's gonna be? Because if that's the play, that's kind of painful. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, I think we send the uh, Kremiel for forward. We need to deal with these mother yuckers fast. Luckily, Kremiel's damage is absurd. On normal hits. So I gotta do this. I have to kill this mother yucker fast. Okay. Oh, come on. Just die, bro. I should have used the spells, it's fine. Oh my god, Gale is dead. That is not okay for me. <laughs> that is really not okay, because my only source of radiant damage are Carlax, uh Beam, or whatever it is, and... Um, I think it's Jaheira. Speaking of Jaheira, I get to actually check. We do have Totemic Assault and Moonbeam. Moonbeam should help. Because it's radiant. But this fucking ginormous circle we got going here is pain. And we can't heal Gale unless we throw a fucking potion on him. Because he is considered undead still. And that is not okay. Alright, luckily I can Totemic Assault for free. So let me do just that. Now, I think because uh, Gale is considered under and he is allied, I should be able to do this. Yeah. Alright, let me do this. Please don't fall. Motherfucker! <laughs> The fact that you teleport and you still fall, even though you don't technically move, is absurd. She just switched places with the dude on the on the floor. But, okay. And these motherfuckers don't fall, but everybody else does. That's cringe. What do you mean I can't reach destination? I'm sorry, you can't move? Okay, let me use the bonus, I guess. Hopefully this giant elemental doesn't fall. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Like, my dude fell prone when he has four fucking feet. And he's humongous. Really, game? Alright, Lazel, please. Ple please. Also, I need Karlak. Please do the dips. Okay, I was hoping for more dips, but it's fine. Do I have any potions to help Gale? I don't think I do. I'm gonna have to use everything here just to fucking... Hopefully this motherfucker doesn't hit Gale. I could sense you being Gale, but I don't feel like doing that. Motherfucker has 24 HP. Since you've been in for 24 HP is cringe as hell. Let me not do that. Let me taunt, though. It's 88. Please focus on Lazel and not on Gale. Now I wish I kind of sunbeamed Casador Instead of globing of Invo. But, yeah. Is there a way for me to... What the fuck? I'm sorry, what happened? 
Ghoul blasted Predator will work for further necrotic damage. Okay, so my Ghoul died and he did AoE. Basically the gist of it, I think. Alright, we need to deal with this mother yucker, so... So this... No, I don't sadistic contract because it's a long rest. Let me... Let me do Touch of Desire. Good shit. Now hopefully I can still move out of here. Without falling prone. This should work. Oh, but I got fucking bats on my ass. That's cringe. Man, come on. Mind control art. Okay, this is a cantrip. Let's see now. I need to mind control somebody. What if I... Target can't be an enemy, the fuck? Okay, so this doesn't work. Because I don't have anybody mind controlled. That is cringe and kind of bad for me. Alright. I do have one potion, but I can't throw it. I, I got two, actually. I really wish I had an action reset on uh, Trixie over here. For a second, I forgot her name. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Mr. Dollar. Blast this motherfucker. Good shit. Alright. And, uh, let's see now. I gotta yoink something. Unless I can do something else. What is this again? Flame strike. Okay, I got two flame strikes. If I actually want to use them. I think Key Blast is a play, though. And we end turn on them. There we go, there we go. Good shit, good shit. Alright, come on, come on. I need to save. Like, as soon as this turn ends. Please, game, do not crash on here. So, my understanding on this is that I gotta use AoE spells for Kazador himself. Okay? That is my understanding of how to deal with this area if I crash. Now, let's hope I don't crash. Also, these motherfuckers turned, um... They turned into hostiles, temporarily. Because of Valkrana's stupid-ass energy. Which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to jump. Or I just teleport. Because I just remembered I got Sonido. Which should technically teleport me there. Okay. Good shit. That's a bunch of damage. I just realized I do not have my aura on. Again. Let me turn it on. Okay. Now... I got another blink, I just realized, which is six meters. Uh, everybody is supposedly in darkness. Because there is a bunch of darkness in here, I think. Even though technically this is supposedly light. Um, without darkness, these ghouls and vampires shouldn't be surviving. So, I think... I am correct in assuming that even though this is lit area, it's supposedly still darkness. I think. I don't know if I'm correct though. Is it hungering shadows? Yeah. I don't have an action. Hold up. Fuck, I used it and uh, it's a long rest. Shit. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just blast him, I guess. Um, how about I silence smite this motherfucker? Because this dude here has spells. Yeah, sure. Let's just waste a level 2 spell for this mother yucker. Please work. No! What do you mean? That is extra annoying. Alright. Let's hit the ghoul with some ice. And hopefully, if he moves, he falls. Okay. Uh, I'll distracting Visage. Hopefully, it works. Unsure if it worked. But he did miss. Alright. Okay. So. 
I think I am correct in assuming that if I use this, I should be able to bypass the ice without falling. Good shit. Good shit. I assumed correctly. Man, I love when uh, assumptions work. <laughs> All right, let's turn our fists into fire. Add some flame damage to the weapons. Yes. All right. <sighs> These motherfuckers just do not fall, bro. So somehow they don't fall, but my fucking earth elemental did. <laughs> All right, please get up, Gale. I need your damage. All right. What's Kaioken? I got 17 energy left. Let's taunt this motherfucker. Good shit. I don't know why I ko not because I taunted. I forgot that shit goes off. It's fine though. Let me hit him though. Bitch. bitch. Zero damage? What the fuck? Okay. I'm sorry, did Lazel just take damage? From what? Can I make this bigger? Wait. What the fuck did Lazelle take damage from? Hello? She took three damage from nothing. Alright, is there a way for me to get Gale out of harm's way and still be able to do something next turn? Mm, I don't... I think that's the only way. Alright, just get him out of there. Okay. Now this motherfucker needs to get pushed. If I push him, he is supposedly gonna fall. Good shit, good shit. Tactics, boys. Tactics. <laughs> Alright. Figuring it out. Let's go. Can I stretch or pull this motherfucker? I'll try. Hopefully he falls. No? Okay. Never mind. Alright. Um... Touch of Desire. Okay, I'm gonna deal with these one by one and then fuck with Casador. Where is Casador? <laughs> wait, wait, hold up. Where are you at? Oh, he's right here. I'm just blind. Okay. If I do this, am I in range? Actually, you know what? I should probably kill off the, the, the fucking stupid ass bat that is, uh, you know... There we go. I rolled on Executioner. It's fine. We killed him. Fuck. Uh, I knew I should have handled the stupid skeleton first. Even though it technically is healing Kremiel, it's ruining Karlak's HP. It's kind of annoying, but... Should be fine. Alright, let me deal with this. Please die. Anyway. No crits, huh? Oof. Uh. Alright, how about I try to silence your ass again? What the fuck? Okay. Um... <laughs> how about I chop? Please. Ain't no way I missed the 90 plus percent. That is... Oh... Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Motherfucker did me a, a huge favor. He is now in front of Gale. And Jahira is close ish. Speaking of, I can just, you know, beam the motherfucker with a level 4 spell. Boom. And then do this. Even though it's 30%. Shit. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh my god, I should have killed him off faster, I guess. Wait, what happened? Who the fuck is Aurelia? And why is Aurelia so OP? What the fuck? Wait, why is... Where? I Who the fuck is Aurelia? Where you at? Why is Aurelia 
I'm confused. Who the fuck is Aurelia? Oh, she's the one right here. Why Why is she permanently showing up on my screen? The fuck? That is weird. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to beam uh, Kazador here. So, we didn't crash yet. Which means I need to save. Alright, let me try to put his ass on the floor. Oh, that, if I do that, that's really bad, actually. Okay, he did some damage. Alright, now, what I can do is I can Word of Radiance, Sacred Flame, or Guiding Bolt, or Chaos Bolt. So let me let me try Chaos first. Nope. Uh, zero. What the fuck? Nope. Alright. Jesus Christ. Why? Bro, why? No, like, actually... Okay, you didn't fall. Can I push him? I can. Bitch. Sit the fuck down. What? Oh, that's sad. That is really sad. Okay, I could... Oh, please don't fall, Lazel. Please don't fall. Fuck! And I think she's in moonbeam range because that shit remains... There, instead of on target. I didn't know. Oh, that's so cringe. I am technically hitting Lazel now. That is extra cringe, but I'm gonna try something here with Gale. <sighs> Alright. If Gale falls. Okay. If Gale falls. No! It, he gets hit with Moonbeam? Oh my god! Okay, I just fucked myself hard. Alright. William? Please. Please, Eldridge blast this motherfucker off the cliff. Or the edge. Let's fucking go. Please tell me you're dead. Okay, he's technically dead. I would assume he is dead because he's non-existent. Surely that's not Cazador, right? <laughs> Alright, I think Cazador is dead. Surely the game didn't bug out on me, did he? Did the, did the game bug out on me? I hope that's not the case. I can't believe Gale, uh, not Gale, Will actually pull that off. With a 30%. Oh my god, I forgot this guy's alive. This dude right here is... Ruining my party, bro. What the fuck? You can't kill him off like that? There, There's no way. There is no way this motherfucker survived that because the game says so. That's actually crazy, bro. Okay, do I have... <laughs> I need old person or something. <laughs> there is no way that just happened. Okay, thank God I got old person. He's not humanoid? That... What, hold up, what? Oh, he's in mist form. Motherfucker, what? Oh. Man, this is cringe as all hell. Okay. <sighs> Alright, where exactly is Jaira? Let's see now. If I do this, I hit three. Four with Kremiel, and I push Kremiel kind of closer to Kazador, hopefully. Okay, please wake the fuck up. No? I was hoping you would wake up. It's fine. Let me try to... I'm sorry, it's on 80%. <sighs> Sometimes I hate this game, bro. Alright, it's it's time for Karlak to try to do something. Can I? I need Karlak to sunbeam this motherfucker somehow. And it's not possible because in fucking misform, you can't hit him. Okay. 
Now I can Meteor combo, and hopefully... You know what I can do? I can jump. And I should jump. There we go. Now, Karlak has light because of Latander thingy. But I need to kill this dude off. So, is there a way for me to do that? From range. Please. Thank you, but I can't switch the fucking light of Latander anymore. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind, never mind. It did work. I didn't know. Well, Light of Latander is gonna be extra helpful here, I guess. Thank God I found it when I did. Alright, so... What I need to do is teleport this mother yucker out. And... Uh, I think I should do this. Ooh, I need to move a little bit though, but... I can't. Do I risk an attack of opportunity? Sure. It's fine. I don't actually care if dude gets hit. I just need to hit multiple targets. And not Jahera. Please work. Let's go. Good shit, good shit. That, that was a 15% AoE, by the way. <laughs> Alright, uh, I need... William, you save Gale somehow. This is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna Solar Flare. I think that's the play here. I actually think that's the play here. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do this. Figures. Okay. I can't use anything on Trixie. For whatever reason, the turn did not end. Question mark? This motherfucker is blind, by the way. Okay. You are up. Which means I can fucking start hitting, dude. I, I need Zephyr. Uh, and then I think I Sonido. And what I need to do, I need to make sure... Okay, damage doesn't seem to go up, no matter what I use. I need to make sure this motherfucker cannot push me. Uh, seems like the best way. Good shit. And now I need to make sure I don't hit uh, Pale Petras. Whatever, whoever. And I need to do another Sonido. Okay. Now, if I move... He shouldn't be able to hit me. Because he's blind. Good shit. Okay. Oh my god, Latander's life. Let's go. No, that is so bad. Oh my god. I am dying inside a little bit. Oh, I need to heal Karlak like now. Okay, I need the biggest heal in the history of healing right now. This should heal everybody in the area. Good shit. Good shit, Jahera. Okay. Alright, what I need to do... I need to get rid of Moonbeam. And Moonbeam this motherfucker. I provoke attack of opportunity if I do this, though. Not enough range, because I'm in stupid ass... Thingy. Pain. Man, I wish I had a corpse, like, right here. I could... I, I could do something, but... Let's see now. So. If I... Uh, what's it called? Let me see. Does this work? It's temporarily hostile, but it's not enemy. Uh, not corpse grenade. Where's the switch? Oh, I used bonus action. Well, never mind. 
Oh, that's melee. I didn't realize. Okay. Anyway. Okay. If I do this, I'm pushing Trixie all the way off the fucking thing. That's cringe. I need to deal with two targets. If I do this, I also hit the fucking elemental. I think this should be fine. Good stuff. Yes, it is, Karlak. Do not disappoint. So, what I actually need is Karlak to not die. Let's see if I can put him off balance. Well, that's still good damage, though. I still have an action because of Super Saiyan. And now I can Sunbeam. But the target is blocked. What the fuck? Alright, let me move here. Hopefully this works. What do you mean target is blocked? Okay, surely! That was weaker damage than I thought, game! Okay, please don't die, Karlak. I need motherfucker to not hit Karlak. He is supposedly blind. He is blind for one turn. I need him to actually be blind, not to just, you know, pretend. <laughs> okay, I need to hit everybody in area, except... Except Trixie and uh, Jahera. Okay, this should work. Please. You know what? I'll take it. That's still damage. Uh, Alright. Get up, Gale. I need your damage. Bad. <laughs> Actually. Alright, let me try to pull this ghoul. 70% miss is crazy, though. Bruh. I need Gale to teleport in the back. The reason is because this dude can fucking turn into... Cringe. And just fly around. Hopefully he is unable to, though, because of Light of Latander. Because of Sunlight Hypersensitivity. Because if I recall, the second Karlak entered range with the Light of Latander... Dude just turned visible. <laughs> you know what I mean. Alright, so. What I need is, first of all, Zephyr. Because this adds more damage. Also uses my bonus action, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, so. I will Sonido. I will level 2 Sonido, though, though. That's a fuckload of damage. Let's go. And now I just hit him normally, so I don't have to waste my level 3 spells. Just yet. Because I do have some level 3 spells in here. If I recall. Let me see, actually, before I decide on what to do next. Okay, you should probably go to sleep, Lawless. Let's see now, level 1, level level 3. I should probably... No, I can't use Devouring Darkness because of Sunlight. From Light of the Thunder. I guess I just Sonido again. That's crazy though. Alright, I kinda... Gotta get out of the way. Shit. Well, that's healing Grimiel, I think. Is this healing Grimiel? Grimiel is undead. So Grimiel is not being healed. She's not affected, I think. But she's not being healed. Also, this motherfucker is gonna be a problem. If this keeps up. 
shit. Oh, I need to heal Karlak now. But my entire party except Ramiel and Astarion is there. Why am I not bringing Astarion here? Why is this motherfucker not joining? Like, actually just refuses to join. Bro. Just get up there. Oh my god. For whatever reason, dude decided, you know what I'm gonna do? Not be there. Come on, dude. My party is literally dying while I'm trying to get your ass there. Why even is Astarion so far out? This is crazy. Random ghoul? Anyway. <laughs> Okay, please, Astarion, just get in there, brother. Okay. I need somebody to do something other than just exist. Okay, whose turn is it, Gale? Finally. I have Sunbeam. Where is motherfucker, though? Oh my god, I'm about to sneeze again. Hold up. Hey, excuse the fuck out of me. Whew, damn. Should I summon plan our ally right now? Or should I sunbeam? If I sunbeam, the maximum damage I am about to do is still not enough. So I think I should plan our ally. How about a genie? Oh, what the fuck? What happened? Sorry, what happened? Oh, That's crazy, bro. Actually. Alright, what if I flame strike? I should be able to flame strike. Okay. I flame strike this area specifically, and then I hit both the bats and this motherfucker. Good shit, William. I should probably fly my ass uh, near Gale. Oh, I provoke attack opportunity. That's cringe. Let me punch this. No? He blasts. No, let me punch this bat, I guess. Oh. Bitch, please. All right. Oh, uh, okay. Luckily, I have one more Sonido. So I can just get in there. Hopefully. I kind of need Karlak, actually. Okay. Can I still get in there, though? I do have Blink. I'm sorry, what is these? Increase distance. I don't need to increase my distance. I am right here. Good shit. Alright, let's block his ass. If he does anything, he's gonna get... Motherfucker, Kremiel! Really? Now, of all times, you decide to just fucking, you know, get an or orgasm? If you know what I mean? Uh, well... Shit. Okay. That, oh my god, that is painful! Actually, I need to kill off Kazador ASAP. Bro. What do you mean zero damage? Oh, well, he's down at least, I think. Yeah. Alright. I'm sorry, is this dude hitting Kremiel as well? Okay, I think I kinda need the Misty Step. Or I could just do this, actually. Wait! Oh, this could be potentially really bad or potentially really good. The reason is because this shit is AoE. So. Potentially really good, but potentially really bad. Here's hoping Kremiel doesn't die. Oh, okay, that's the enemy specifically. 
Well, anyway. I have targeted most of enemies. Okay. Let's see now. This could potentially just one-shot him because he's low HP, kind of. Alright, William, good luck. Is he dead? He's not, but he's very close. He, he, that's very close, actually. Can I pull him? Uh, 10%. Ooh, and I, I don't actually have the range. What I can do is fly, but it's gonna provoke attack of opportunity. Can I just, just fucking kill off this bat, please? Pissing me off. What the fuck do you mean zero? Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright, I need. Where is motherfucker now? Where's the dude? What the fuck? Where is Gazador? Did he just go into the sarcophagus? Or whatever the fuck it's called? I... Kinda need Karlak. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt. Yes, I know, I know. It's fine. I kinda need Karlak. I kinda need fucking sunlight. Okay. Now, I could just do this. And I think I will. Good shit, good shit. Kinda need the heals, you know. Alright, where the fuck is dude? Did he go into the thing? I think he did. I think Karlak can just get there. I think. Other things on my mind. Thanks. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm taking it. Okay, so where is dude? Dude just gone. Where is Gazador? I'm sorry, I'm lost. What the fuck happened to Casador? Let me read. Okay, where is William's damage? Casador was hit, Casador was killed. Okay. Okay. So we are done with this, technically. I hope. So technically, I am also doing damage with Super Saiyan because radiant damage all around me due to aura. That's crazy good, actually. So I just need to kill off these bastards now? And that's about it? Please tell me that's the play. Alright, let me just, you know... Bitch. Bitch. No? Can I execute? No, I'm not in range. Alright, it's fine. Can I switch back to to the, the thing? Yep, okay. Alright, Gale. Ah, fuck. That's really bad, actually. Shit. Oh, boy, this fight is so messy, bro. Also, my genie is doing nothing. What is this genie doing? Oh, he can push. Damn! 40 damage. Poison. Teleports. So when is Genie's turn? Oh, it's really far, actually. Okay, so it's... Whose turn is it? Is it actually Genie's turn? I don't think it is. I wish I could just pick up Kremiel just like that, but nope. Not allowed. Alright, can I just hit this motherfucker? Thank you. Oh, we leveled up. That's crazy. Okay, so who's left? This dude? And the the bat? I think that's it. Alright, so... Why can't I attack? Can't use action. Nauseous. What? Sorry, what now? Anyway. Genie's not nauseous anymore. That's good. Okay, so what if I just, you know, blast this motherfucker? Mm-hmm. And um, I'll try at 25 with this. 
Fucking bat is still not dead, bro. Thank you. Alright. Well, I think I'm done here. I need Jahera's ass to just be saved. Let's get Jahera back up. We can level up. But I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do here. Let me talk to Stadion, I guess. Well, you clearly want to say something. Yeah. What next? <laughs> we find Motherfucker, Casador is dead. And once we Was I not supposed to bring him into the fight? Well, let's hope fate is on our side. We just killed Casador. What do you plan to do with the prisoners? Let's see now. I've been weighing my options. Was I not supposed to kill Casador like this? I'm confused. Power and freedom. On the other, well, it's my fault they're here. Yes, it was Casador's command. I had no choice, but it seems now I do. This is freedom. Do I go with that, or I'm sure you'll make the right decision? I don't know if I trust Asterion to free them if I take option number three. I don't remember how high... How highly Asterion thinks of us. Hmm. Let me go with option number one, I guess. And what am I owed? What about the injustices I've suffered? Yes, you are entitled to your freedom. All that matters now. Bro, Casador is there. Or is he not? I've uh, game literally said Casador dead. If nothing else. I'm confused. We can deal with the prisoners when the time is right. The time is now. After all, they're not going anywhere. That is true, but Casador is dead, so what now? I am confused. Let me touch the sarcophagus, I guess. Ew. Ew. No healing sleep for you. Wake up. That's weird, but sure. Get your hands off me, worm. All right, let's see what Astadion chooses to do here. I guess he's probably gonna kill them all. That's for sure. But what next? I hope I put a stallion on the on the correct path. And I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. Yep. Do it. If I finish the ritual you started, I'll never have to fear anyone. Ever. Hmm. You think me a fool? allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place. Hm? The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed, you included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you... Yes, but I think that even if Asterion sacrifices himself with the ritual, he would still ascend. I can do this. Because he's the one finishing it. I don't think he should finish the ritual, though. Because if he finishes the ritual, then I am 100% sure Asterion's gonna be on the evil path. And I don't want that for him. But listen, Asterion deserves peace. Um, if I help you complete the ritual, it will kill all these people. Let's go with that. These people died years ago. No. Trust me on that. All that's left are feral spawn, desperate for blood. But isn't Asterion technically the same thing? Only he has that ball in his head. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. But 
If I complete the ritual, think of the power I'll have. With me by your side. Hmm, he really, really wants this, huh? Let me try to convince him otherwise. Let's see. Ooh. Let's let's try the inside. Hmm. No, let me go with persuasion. I think. Actually, let, let's <clears throat> let's act as if we didn't we didn't have the mod that is showing us a stereon plus three. Let's go with insight first. We can't really fail these because whispering council. So we might as well. You can see the fear in his eyes, but also the hunger. The thick smell of blood in the air and the promise of power being so close is intoxicating to him. All he can see is the power of the ritual and the freedom that power brings. The freedom to mm -hmm. do anything. To be anything. But you can do that even without this. Huh. Option two or option three? Option three is way easier. And I think this might just be better, but I'm not completely sure. Let me try to persuade with option three. Let's see where this leads. I'm gonna leave with the consequences. Just like Shadowheart. You. You're right. Thank fuck he approves. I can be better than them. But I'm not above enjoying this. Okay, I don't mind you killing him. I mind you taking his place in the ritual. And killing everybody off. Damn! Okay. Da Yo! Chill! Motherfucker giving him a thousand shanks! <laughs> Actually! Okay. Yeah, that definitely made him feel a little bit better, though. Damn! Is this even YouTube friendly? <laughs> All right, you can cry now, but Jesus, he just gave him the shink, 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 shink. <laughs> All right, well, at least I think I've managed to put a stadion on the correct path. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to skip some of these. Thank God I gotta edit. Is, is it over? Is he? <laughs> yes. He's gone. What does that mean for us? Okay, I'm gonna have to blur all of this. Oh my god, that's pain. <sighs> I don't think this is YouTube friendly. You're free. Uh, let's see now. That depends. Can you keep your fangs yourself? What business is it of yours? It, it will become everyone's business if you try to feast on half the city. This is just a friendly warning. Your choice is a simple, really. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites. Or you could be more than what he made us to be. You can choose differently, of course. But the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? Ah, now that is a question. Casador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you could decide their fate. Let me go with option two. Let's try to release them. I would assume this would be the correct choice here. 
Option number two. A herd of vampires spawn unleashed on the Sword Coast. What could go wrong? Okay, but can't they just go into the Underdark? Innocent. They shouldn't have to suffer just because I lured them here. Um, if you're seeing just bits and pieces of cutscenes and stuff, that's because I have cut some of the content because it's probably not YouTube friendly. They're kind of undressed. They'll need someone to lead them. Take the tunnels into the Underdark. Find somewhere. Where okay, so they do go into the Underdark. Safe, Good. But less perilous. So is Astarion gonna leave? No, we can't. Just try to keep them out of trouble. Okay. I... I think we're done here. Yes, we are. Let's go. Alright, I think this is... No time to rest. <sighs> Let me talk to Starion real quick. That's it? I think this is the end of the episode. After we deal with Astarion. We're about two hours and a half in, maybe a little bit more if we count the compilation of crashes. It's really over. I'm proud of you. I'm glad you think so, because I'm not so sure. I just feel numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. And God, all those spawn, free in the Underdark. I need some time, I think, I... just to let it all sink in. <laughs> Let's just go. This place reeks of death, and I want to feel alive again. Agreed. But. And there's a big but. Not cheeks, no. <laughs> Let me touch Casador a little bit. Oh. Uh, you know what? Let me send this to Astarion, I guess. And we have a sword here. Rhapsody. Interesting. Who uses a sword? No, this is a dagger. Do I give this to Astarion? You know what? For now. A keepsake. Alright. I think we should level up. And we should probably leave this area. But... Again, um, we kind of need to go see where the other side of the dungeon leads to. Because we do have some options here. And let's hope this other side here leads us to... Oh, we have a ghoul here. I did not even realize. Let's hope this other side... Leads to us saving the Gondians, and hopefully everybody we save is gonna help us deal with Gortash, Orin, and the fucking Netherbrain. Alright, if you've enjoyed it so far, leave a like. Let me know how you feel about me putting a stadion on the correct path. Hopefully this is the correct path, and hopefully the Vampire will just join us in the fight with the Netherbrain. Here's hoping we get a good ending, because I know the bad endings in the current patch that I am playing is, well, bad. As in, it's not enjoyable. Which is why they made a, an actual evil ending for patch 7. Alright, now, if you want to see the leveling, please stick around. If not, you could just skip to the other video. I'm gonna go ahead and level up. And then we end. Alright, come on. This is taking a second. Alright, we are quite high level, actually. I don't think I go into Blackguard. I think we continue with the Voidborn right now. We got a feat. I could go with Ability Improvement. I could get two extra Charisma. Maybe Wisdom? 
Should I go Wisdom? I could go Dual Wielder. I wish I could Dual Wield uh, Two-Handed Weapons. Is that even a possibility in this game? I know you can Dual Wield uh, Versatile Weapons, I think. Let's just go Ability Improvement and get two into Wisdom. And be like this. Is that the play? I think Voidborn is, is using Wisdom and my Wisdom is very, very low. And I think I should get it to a zero at least on Wisdom checks. At least a ten. Because I can't really go and um, respec so I get higher Charisma. I think I should, I should just get plus zero on Wisdom checks instead. Instead of the minus one. I think this might just be the play. Because I don't really think... I need anything else? Unless I could get extra action somehow. Which I kind of forgot if you even can. I could go polearm master, but I don't use polearms. Hmm. Yeah, nah. Ooh, I could go Great Weapon Master, because we do land crit hits quite a bit. I don't quite understand the minus 5 attack roll on this one. You know what, let's go with Great Weapon Master. We kinda just have a hammer. So let's use it. We've been using this one hammer the entire playthrough, and I think it's just OP as hell, actually. Okay, more Warlock. Um, Planar Binding. Ten turns. Nah. I think... Huh... Do I go with Hold Monster? That could work. Let me use Hold Monster. Something I don't normally take. I do have Hold Person. Negative Energy Flood. Is the Nether Brain an undead? I don't know. Is Gortash undead? I don't think he is. Orin might be undead. You know, let me t let me not take that. Let me take. Do I take Flame Strike? I could. But what if Psychic? I'm just saying. What if Psychic damage? I don't like Dread Skeleton. I think I have too many skeletons and or ghouls as it is. I could take four step. I don't want to take four step though. I think I just take flame strike honestly. All right, eldritch invocations. Let me just take repelling blast because that has pl pl uh, played a major role, considering William has just destroyed people with that. Okay. You know, I think we are fine. Unless... I don't think Charm is playing any type of role here. Let me take Hold Monster instead of Charm Person. And we crashed. Alright, well, that's a good place to end the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'll probably level up off-screen.